am so proud to have passed Caring for Denver into law. Um, so outside of being an elected official, we also actually have leadership abilities and powers within our own communities. And so because I understand the process so well, um, I realized that the state was never going to meet our needs when it came to mental health or substance misuse. It just wasn't going to happen. Uh, and that we as a Denver community needed to put our hands together and figure out a new way, a new solution. And so I actually um, decided to run a campaign, put together a ballot measure and asked them right if they would support a 25 cents on a hundred dollar sales tax increase. So every time you spend a hundred dollars, 25 cents to support mental health and substance misuse. And I was told we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it, um, especially to put the money in a foundation, not in the city's coffers um, to support this really huge need that people wouldn't support that. I got to tell you, Denver proved them wrong, and Denver came in and supported Caring for Denver with 70% of the vote. Um, I'm now the chair of the board of the foundation, and we have given out over $45 million in grants to organizations right here in Denver who are helping people with mental health and substance misuse. Um, we know through COVID uh, that we have all have more needs. Like it's not just for some people or those people or over there. We have it too. And now in Denver, there are more, um, more ways to get access to mental health and substance misuse treatment than ever before. So if you're struggling and you need, you need a little bit of help, um, you're in crisis or before crisis or your friend or family needs something, reach out to us because we probably know a community-based organization that can help you and help you for free.